Hey everyone, Frank and Cutlove coming at you this week with a special edition. Next week's Monday Night Raw for July 6th. But before we get into that, what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about this 15-person trade. You know, the one that Trump did the uh, before he got uh, bought out and then fired. Alright. Your full five people that are now on Raw. Evan Bourne, Mark Henry, Jack Swagger, and the two you didn't see last night, Gail Kim and Alicia Fox. Not bad. Okay. Now, tonight SmackDown. So who are the five new people on SmackDown? Uh, being that Raw got all these people, I had to lose a few. So we got Shelf. So uh, I'm sorry. ECW now has Shelton Benjamin, Goldust, William Regal, and Bree and Nikki the Bella Twin. All right, not bad. Now who did SmackDown get? That's a key. SmackDown kind of made out why? Because they got Matt Hardy, Finley, Natalia, Tyson Kidd, and David Hart Smith. That's right, SmackDown now has the Hart Dynasty. That mm, should be interesting. I mean, it kind of sucks for ECW, but in, in, in the same token, ECW kind of makes out. But anyway, let's talk about Monday Night Raw for July 6th. Show's going to open up with Ted DiBiase Sr., Ted DiBiase Jr., and Cody Rhodes. Sr. puts Cody in a match against Mark Henry and DiBiase Jr. in a match against Randy Orton. Wow. Huh. It's, it's funny how you would think Dad would be the heel, but he's actually the face. Anyway, let's move on. Edge and Chris Jericho once again wrestle Primo and Carlito. Why? Because, well, you saw the end of the match last night, or whenever you watch it, and you know where this is going. So, yeah, surprise, surprise, Edge pins Primo. After the match, Carlito takes his little brother and throws him into the post. He then takes him outside and throws him over the announcer's table. Ah, <sighs> heel turn, whatever. Anyway, next up, Mark Henry defeats Cody Rhodes. Surprise, surprise. Then we have one of our newest people. That's right. Evan Bourne comes out. And what does he do? He beats Kofi Kingston. And then the big show comes out and beats the fucking piss out of the both of them. <sighs> Tragedy, you know. Then Randy Orton beats Ted DiBiase Jr., with the RKO. And of course we go into the back and we see Junior screaming at his dad and he slaps his dad across the face. What kind of fuck stuff shit is that? What kind of son slaps their father? Oh, you'll find out why later! <sighs> Mickey James and Gail Kim then defeat Alicia Fox and Maurice when Mickey pins Maurice. Interesting. <sighs> now it's time for your main event. John Cena and Triple H. Okay. In the match. To decide who's going to face Randy Orton at Night of Champions. Uh, two of the biggest eagles of the company wrestling a match. To decide who's going to face the champion at the next review. Oh, yeah. Ends in a double disqualification after all of Legacy interferes. Mm -hmm. So, Ted Sr. has to announce that at Night of Champions, it's going to be Randy Orton defending against John Cena and Triple H. In a triple threat match. Oh, and then Senior comes out to get back at Junior for uh, slapping him before. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I'm not sure if they're gonna show it on TV, but it's pretty good, you know. It's always nice to watch a father beat 
fucking shit out of their son. I'm not saying it happens. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying. <sighs> and of course, like I said, this may not be on TV, but John Cena and Triple H pull out Legacy to the ring. Back, you know. DiBiase and Rhodes ditch Orton, which leads to Orton getting f would and pedigreed. You know, because, you know. It, it's cool, you know. You know, because, you know, they just, you know, it's funny how, you know, DiBiase and Rhodes just leave Orton, you know, to, to fucking Triple H and Cena. But hey, whatever. Anyway, that's what's going to happen next week on Monday Night Raw. July 6th. Peace.